Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve a problem on equivalent force systems. Before I move on, I suggest you to please watch the video lectures on force system in sequence as in the playlist so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop up on your screen. Now coming to the problem. Replace the loading system acting on the beam in the figure below with an equivalent force coupled system at point O. Now this is our figure and this is our point O. What we have to do? We have to replace all these forces with an equivalent force couple system. What does it mean? Now equivalent force couple system means one force and one couple, couple or moment at point O. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to find the moment of all these forces at point O and we have to move all the forces to point O in the second step. Okay, let us apply the first step first. Okay, let MO be the moment at O. Okay, let us assume the clockwise moments they are positive and anti clockwise moments are negative. Now, 200 Newton meter is clockwise, right? So, at O, the moment at O is as it is 200 Newton meter. 200 Newton meter then this 200 is going to exert an anti-clock moment like this on O, right? So it is negative minus 200. How far is 200 normally from point O? The normal distance is this, right? It is 2 plus 1.5, which is 2 plus 1.5 is 3 meters multiplied by 3. Then we have 450 Newton at this point. Now the normal distance between 450 Newton and O, it can be found like this. Let us say, let me change the color first. Let us say this is the line of action of 450 Newton. Okay, then the normal distance between 450 Newton and point O is the normal distance between line of action of 450 Newton and O, and it is like this. Right, this is the normal distance right now since as you can see we don't know how much is this distance right we don't know so we cannot find the moment of 450 newton at o since we cannot find the moment so what we are going to do we will apply varignon's theorem i have already made a video lecture on varignon's theorem you can also watch that by the way you don't need to watch that it's very easy i will explain it here now we cannot find the moment of 450 newton at point o what we will do we will find the moment of components of 450 Newton okay like this let us resolve this 450 Newton in vertical let us say this is y component and this is x component this is y component which is 450 cos 30 degrees right now this is the vertical component because the angle is 30 that's why I wrote cosine of 30 degrees and this is the x component right let me change the color first now let us say this is the horizontal component this is 450 sine of 30 degrees okay now we can easily find the moment of these components at point o okay that is equal to this moment of 450 newton okay now 450 cos 30 it is going to exert a clockwise moment like this at point O so it is net positive plus 450 cos 30 degrees multiplied by how far is 450 cos 30 degree normally from point O this is the distance between them right and it is 1.5 meters okay so 1.5 meter now this force now how much is it far from point O now let me draw the line of action of this force let us say this is the line of action of 450 sine 30 and this is the normal distance between them okay and it is 0.2 meters okay because the thickness of this beam is 0.2 meters so the distance between normal distance between 450 sine 30 and point o is 0.2 meters also 450 sine 30 is going to exert a moment like this right which is anti-clockwise so it is negative so i'll write negative 450 sine 30 multiplied by 0 
2 right now that's it now let me use a calculator to find to find the moment 200 minus 200 multiplied by 3.5 right 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5 it is 3.5 3.5 plus 450 cosine of 30 multiplied by 1.5 minus 450 sine of 30 multiplied by 0.2 it is approximately 39.6 okay 39.6 newton meter right because the distances are in meters and the forces are in newton so it is newton meter so let me write it here movement at point o is 39.6 newton meter okay now we found the couple at point o now we have to find the force okay so let me erase this first then we will find the force now we have to find the force at o okay now what we do we will move all the forces to point o and find the resultant the resultant is the force which you want okay now let me first write it here move all the forces to point O okay without changing the direction of forces okay now what does it mean let me draw coordinate axis at point O let me draw it separately so that the diagram is clean okay now let us say this is the point O okay this is the point O and I'm writing it here okay now I will move all the forces to point O without changing direction okay it means I will move this 450 is here I have to move it to point O but it is making an angle of 30 degree with the vertical and I will not change that okay so let's say this is it is like this this is 450 Newton this is point O okay and it is making an angle of 30 degree then we have 200 Newton I have to move this to point O and it is upward so it will be upward here too okay so it is like this 200 Newton okay now we have only these two forces now I have to add them I have to find the resultant of these two forces okay how I'm going to do that I will resolve it into a vertical and a horizontal component okay this 450 so that I can add them now this is let us say this is x axis and this is y axis now this is 450 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees and this component is 450 multiplied by sine of 30 degrees okay now this is horizontal axis x axis let me add all the forces along x axis summation of forces along x axis assuming the forces towards right they are positive and the forces towards left like this they are negative okay now we have only one force which is towards left which is 450 sine 30 so it is negative sine 30 degrees okay now let me use a calculator to find the value negative 450 multiplied by sine 30 it is negative 225 Newton okay now let me write it here mm. summation of forces along x axis is negative 225 Newton okay now let me find the summation of forces on the vertical axis the y axis let me erase this first summation of forces on the y axis the vertical axis 
we have to add all the forces on the vertical axis assuming the upward forces they are positive and the downward forces they are negative okay now it's your choice you can choose the upward forces as negative and downward forces as positive it's your choice now as you can see on the y axis there are only two forces 200 newton is upwards so it is 200 now 450 cos 30 is downwards so it is negative 450 cos 30 degrees okay so let me use a calculator to find the value it is 200 minus 450 cos 30 it is negative 189.7 newton okay so let me write it here summation f of y is negative 189.7 newton okay now i have the x component of resultant and the y component of resultant now i can find the resultant okay like this let me show it here now let us say this is the this is the coordinate axis at point o okay let me change the color now this is the point o okay now we have x component this is negative 225 and remember on the x axis this is the x axis negative means towards left so i will draw a negative force here which is equal to 225 newton right i will have to write the negative again negative means towards left and i have showed that now summation fy is the vertical force which is negative 189.7 and negative means downwards okay 189.7 newton okay now i can find the resultant resultant may be somehow like this resultant will be between them because they are making an angle 90 degrees with each other so the resultant is let me erase this first the magnitude of resultant is square root of 225 square summation f of x square plus summation f of y square right this is summation f of x and this is summation f of y plus 189.7 square okay so let me use a calculator to calculate the value it is square root of 225 square plus 189.7 square it is 294.3 newton okay 294.3 newton now if we found the moment and we also found the resultant right the resultant is 294.3 newton now what we can do in this beam we can remove all the forces okay and just show one force here like this which is 294.3 newton and a single moment it is 39.6 it is clockwise because it's positive like this it is 39.6 newton meter okay we can remove every force and show just these single force and moment which is known as equivalent force couple system okay so this is how we find the equivalent force couple system of the four systems and if you have any problems please comment if you have any doubt and see you in the next class thank you